is my last day on Hilton Head Island. We are all set and ready to go. The car's packed. Got everything we need in the car, hopefully, because I usually forget some stuff like cords, and I always leave something. And I've actually had to go back quite a few times in previous vacations to go get the thing that I missed. My dad always, always forgets shit. So I guess it runs in the family. But anyway, yeah, we're, uh, we're getting the last few things back into the car and we're on our way to Savannah. We're gonna check out the city because we have a couple hours to kill before we're our flight at six. And uh, yeah, I'll do a little vlogging there and I'll show you guys the sights. I think I'm not gonna miss about this vacation are these beach cruisers. I do not like these whatsoever. These things here are no match compared to my trek back at home. Can't wait to get back on my bike. Unfortunately, it's cold out home. About an hour driving we're finally out of the car and I just chopped them some pizza and we're in Savannah. I love this town. must be some kind of event going around here because there's a shitload of a lot of people here and it's never this packed. Now that's a yacht. Look at how tall it is. It looks like a British or Australian flag. I think it's at least like 10 million dollars for that thing. Street performers playing jazz. There he is. I love jazz. Look at this cool fountain. I want to see a tram, that's actually not a tram, but I've seen trams here in the summertime. I feel like every time I come here the city keeps getting better and better. There's like more tourism, there's more to do, more to see, uh, there's a lot of good food here too and it's like the first time I came here was like about eight or nine years ago and now it's just like the city has grown so much. It's really cool here. They got live music, they got food, they got everything you want. And I love places like this. That's why I love to travel. bunch of crap now I gotta go check in and we're on our way best thing about these small airports is that the TSA lines here are super short it's not like in O'Hare Chicago or in Atlanta where you have to wait here it's like you just come in 
super quick, super easy, everybody's super nice, and you're in and out, and you only have one person groping you instead of like a group of 10. Delta Airlines is pleased to announce the arrival of flight 4252. Whew, finally made it through security, and now I just gotta find my gate, and I can just relax, maybe get started on editing this video. I just can't wait to get a little drink on the airplane. Every time I fly, it's just like a tradition, I always get a drink, like a whiskey or a rum, Sometimes I fly and get free drinks and people give me coupons or like tickets for like free drinks and that's awesome but I think I'm gonna have to pay this time. This airport's really small. I'm so not used to it because I'm always used to flying out of big airports but flying out of small airports is really cool and convenient.